Hey, what's going on guys? White Watch Lawn Service here, back with another video. And today, guys, we'll be tearing out a crap ton of shrubs. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so to start the video off, I actually wanted to walk around the property real quick and show you what all I have to do. We got a lot of work through this property, and I might record a decent bit of it um, over the next few days or however long it takes me to do it. But today, we'll be tearing out a whole bunch of shrubs, doing some weeding, as well as applying mulch to this property as well. All right, guys, so to start off, the shrubs I have to pull, they have all been marked with this uh, reflective tape here, so I know which ones to do. And we got three over on the side right here to pull out. Now, up front here, we actually have two very large uh, dwarf Alberta the spruces to pull out as well as these two two smaller ones here right next to the spruces uh, there's one here as well as one right over here to pull next we got this thing to pull out i honestly guys have no idea what this is but i'm supposed to pull this out as well i'm curious what the root ball is going to be like for this i'm going to try to pull it out and we'll have to see how it goes i'm not sure how this one's going to come out though and last we have two more dwarf alberta spruces we got this one here as well as another one over here on the side of the lilac here boom that one there's got to come out as well so we got 10 bushes and shrubs to pull out in total uh it's going to be eight large and those two small ones that i showed you guys it's gonna be a lot of work but i think it's going to be interesting i personally love destroying and taking stuff out of gardens i don't know i'm just a destructive person but anyways guys i've been looking forward to this job so without further ado let's get right to it Alright guys, so as you can probably see, took out these three bushes here. The first two came out very easily and they came out very well. But the last one here was so big and the roots are so deep, they did not want to come out. My truck couldn't even budge it. So I moved it up a little bit higher to see if that extra angle would help to kind of tilt it and then pull it out. And what ended up happening is the uh, one root that goes straight down, because whenever there's a plant like this, there's one root that usually goes straight down and then there's others that branch off to the sides. That one that went straight down came out and it left all the ones off to the sides so those are still down in there somewhere but there's no getting those out now with this out so that came out how it did um hopefully these come out a little better because we still have to do these ones here i got the two um up front here the big ones and the two small ones so we'll take those out next and as you can see my toe set up going all the way out to the street there uh should work pretty well but we'll see All right guys, so I just finished up unloading the first trailer load of all the stuff, and now I'm gonna pull out, I got six more to go. There's two really small ones, and then four larger ones. I think I can get all that in the next trailer load, um, and then I'll get all my hedge trimming and stuff here probably done before I head out again to dump all the other stuff. But like I said, we got this one here, as well as a little one over here. So I just have the chain hooked up. I probably could dig them up if I wanted to, but I have the truck, so I might as well be lazy. All 
All right, so as you guys can see, that definitely did not work. All I got was this little chunk here off, probably because I'm using a chain and not a rope that would tighten around it. And it's so small that it just tore off. So I'm just gonna pull it out real quick. Now guys, if I was either super strong or I had guys to help me pick this up and put it in a trailer, I would actually save these bushes and I would list them on Facebook cheap to get rid of them, but to make an extra couple bucks off the same job. I mean, I would just take them home, set them off to the side, list it on Facebook for like 30 or 40 bucks for a full grown mature one of these. I have no doubt people would want them. But unfortunately I can't. So this little uh, Echo, I think it's the CS, yeah, the CS2511T works perfect for cutting this up so I can carry it and put it on my trailer. All right guys, so that one's out, and now we are on to this one here. Not gonna lie guys, I'm a little bit scared to do this one. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna come out because I've never pulled one of these out before. I'm not worried I'm gonna damage the house or anything. Although now that I say it, I probably will. What I'm worried about is just it coming out relatively easily, and I don't wanna bring anything else here with it. Alright guys, so it actually ended up sliding up on the second attempt as well, but it is actually coming out now. It's about halfway out, so I'm going to do it right around the very base now and it should pop right out. It really probably won't be a big deal at all. Check it out guys, so we got this last one out here and I think it looks pretty good. As it was coming out, it did hit that and it broke a couple, couple pieces off. And I was gonna take my loppers and cut the bottom anyway. They want this whole thing trimmed up anyway, so I was gonna cut the bottom stuff out anyway, so it's not a big deal. But unfortunately, I only had so much tow line and at only this angle that I could do it at, there's just other people's yards over here. So it, the only option was to pull it in the direction that it was gonna mess with that a little bit.
All right, guys, we just finished up all the work here for today. Still got a lot more to go in the next couple of days, but I did want to show you guys what I did so far. So here's a real quick look at what the front looks like now. I did take out all the suckers. I trimmed up that lilac. It looks like a little tree, fluffy bush thing now. Um, the arborvita, or not arborvita, the dwarf arborvita spruce behind it there was gone. The one right next to it that was here is gone. That weird little tree thing growing up here is now gone. The other spruce that was here, as well as one of the smaller bushes here, is gone. And then there was a mirror image over here, a small bush here with the Alberta spruce there. And then last, we had three shrubs, one, two, three, going all along here. And those have all been taken out as well. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of how this job turned out so far for today. I think it turned out pretty good, especially considering how overgrown it was and what it looks like now. Uh, definitely a lot of room now that uh, when the new customers move in, they'll be able to play around with the gardens and put perennials in or whatever they decide to do. Now guys, I'm not gonna share the price for this job. I just don't want to because of haters, because no matter what, I could say I charge 2,000 for this job. And there's still people out there that would say, oh, I wouldn't drop my gate for $5,000. I mean, there's just, so anyways guys, I'm not gonna be sharing the price for this job. But I did want to show you guys real quick how it turned out. Like I said, I still have to come back and do weeding. I'm going to do all the edging for the mulch beds. And then I'm going to mulch it as well. Once all that's done, I think this place is going to be looking sharp. All right, guys, let's finish up this video. I got to go dump this stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.